Welcome everyone, it's Dr. Shiva Ayadure. We're gonna be talking about beetroot and cardiovascular health. All right, so let's study the cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system is composed of heart, blood vessels, and blood. What's really important to understand is that every pump of the heart, you're sending both oxygen, but you're also supporting your immune system. That's why exercise is very important. But what happens here, you can see that oxygenated blood comes in and then this pumps it throughout your body. And then as your body uses up that oxygen rich blood, you have the deoxygenated blood blood that's coming into your lungs and then your lungs oxygenate the blood and so on. So when we take a closer look here, the arteries here, which are bringing in oxygenated blood, and then we have the veins, which are carrying deoxygenated blood. And if you look at the structure of your blood vessels, you'll notice the inner layer is composed of the endothelial. The veins and the arteries have the thick layer, they have the outer layer and the endothelial, but the capillaries only have the endothelial. And so beets have been researched for over 72 years, 8,165 research articles, over 283 clinical trials. Now, one of the things that we do when I do this program is I want to share with you that the approach we take is a systems approach. We don't just go cherry pick a few articles which show beets are good or they're bad. Using Cytosol, we look at all the different articles that are out there. And how do we do that? Well, we're able to do that because the approach that we take with Cytosol allows us to look at all those articles. And then from those articles, we find the ones in this case that have to do with the particular biomolecular function, which has to do with cardiovascular health. And then from those papers, we extract out the molecular pathways. And that means the chemical reactions that people have found. And then we build a holistic understanding of the known science. And then we, from that molecular systems architecture, in this case of cardiovascular health, knowing what compounds are in beet, beetroot, we then make an assessment of what are the valid papers and what they're actually eliciting. In this case, we're looking at beetroots and cardiovascular health. Just a little bit of what is cytosol. So the technology that I created out of MIT, some of you have been interested in it, allows us to do this. I wanted to let you know that we use the technology here. We've helped many, many companies over the last 16 years, a lot of smart, innovative companies, but we decided with all the mathematical models we've created, why don't we try to use this to compute the best product we could think of from the science out there for reducing pain and inflammation, pain and discomfort. And that resulted in us creating MV25 using Cytosol. We're gonna have more products that are gonna be coming, but let me just show you what MV25 is about for those of you who haven't heard about it, but this is using Cytosol in a beneficial way, not to just do research, but find combination therapies. Hi, I'm Barbara Ann. My hands would cramp up so that I couldn't hold cards or knit or crochet, and they would go like that. Not have to use this when I played cards with my grandkids. And I'd start taking that MB25. After a bit, I was able to hold cards in my hand. Very, very little cramping, hardly at all anymore. MV25. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. I tore my ACL during Taekwondo. I had a lot of pain and limited mobility. I've been taking the MV25 for about six months now. After the first week, I noticed a big difference. After the second week, almost literally no pain. My name is Jeremy and I suffer from a lower back problem. Hurt my back at work years ago and I can go to the chiropractor, do all kinds of different things and nothing seems to help. And I decided to try MV25. I didn't notice a difference immediately, but within a few days the pain went away and it stayed away. I've continued to take it and even when I do things that I shouldn't do, it seems to go away a lot quicker than it ever did before. It's clean food certified, it's made in the US. If you go to vashiva.com right on the shop, you'll click there or you can go right to mv25.life either way. And then from there, you can click on the bottle and you can order. If you buy six bottles, you get six bottles for free. Please take advantage of it because first of all, it's gonna help you. It's gonna help our movement. And it really supports the fact that we wanna take science-based approaches to natural products. Now, when you look at beetroot, which is a natural food. This too is composed of various types of chemicals. And we use cytosol to also understand beetroot. So what is be what are what is beetroot composed of? Well, first of all, you can see it's composed of fiber, proteins, interesting enough. And it also has a little bit of fat. So that's the macronutrients, but it also has these micronutrients, vitamins, carotenoids, it's got minerals, phenolic compounds, and inorganic nitrate. And you're going to find out that inorganic nitrate is one of the important things for cardiovascular health. 
So these are the active components. Look, there's lots and lots of compounds in beetroot. These are what people have found over research are the active components, the things that have the most powerful effects. So what are the biological effects of beetroot? So one of the biological effects is that beetroot is anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antimicrobial, which means it fights off microbes, anti-hyperlipidemic, which means stopping the formation of cholesterol, antihypertensive, and it modulates the immune system. So it has a number of very, very powerful biological effects. So what are the health benefits? Well, one of the things that's coming out that's very valuable about beets, it's for cardiovascular health, such as hypertension, arteriosclerosis, heart failure, diabetes, hepatitis, and infections. So now, how does all this work? Well, when we looked at nitric oxide, nitric oxide is critical to understand why beets work. First of all, nitric oxide is a vasodilator. Its key role is maintaining blood pressure, it's anti-arthrogenic, and it's generated by enos catalysis, which is an enzyme, catalyzes L-arginine. When you exercise, blood flows, and it triggers NO production. So if you look right here, when you exercise, these arrows represent blood flow going through your capillaries. The surface is made of the endothelial cells, and in the presence of arginine, you vasodilate, and your body produces nitric oxide. So it's, nitric oxide is really important. And what we did many years ago at MIT, and in my work at Harvard, Andrew Koo's work and MIT, one of my colleagues, he looked at when blood flowed through the arteries and he could measure nitric oxide. But when you look at the surface of the endothelial, you see this little Christmas tree structure. This literally moves when you exercise, it's called a glycocalyx. And when this moves, your body releases nitric oxide. And this nitric oxide release is what is beneficial. So no one's really been able to fully understand how all of this happens. But with Cytosol, as I mentioned, we put all of this together. We model calcium influx and ENOS expression. We modeled all the research from thousands of papers. And we discovered was this is our prediction on the x-axis is time, on the y-axis is the enzyme, which causes mRNA of that enzyme, which releases nitric oxide. This is our prediction. And look at this. The orange squares here represent the actual stuff coming from the wet lab. So our prediction from Cytosol matches nearly perfectly. And same here with the actual protein production. The net takeaway from your standpoint is you need to recognize that Cytosol is an amazing tool to predict biomolecular functions. Well, what happens is beetroot is shown to have an antihypertensive effect, anti-diabetic effect, and anti-arthrosclerotic effect. How does this do this? Well, one of the key things is beetroot has that chemical called nitrate. The nitrate from beetroot is converted to nitrite by oral bacteria in your mouth, and the nitrite decomposes to nitric oxide. And the NO activates enzyme called guanyl cyclase, SGC. And that enzyme of being activated, SGC converts GTP to CMGMP in the smooth muscle cells surrounding the blood vessels leading to their relaxation. And that vasorelaxation promotes antihypertensive effects. The other thing is we have betalin, betalain, and apigenin. Apigenin goes affects the NRF2 pathway, which creates catalase and SOD. And this blocks superoxide and this blocks hydrogen peroxide, which would normally lead to endothelial dysfunction and diabetes. And over here, you can see the betalain from beetroot and the carotenoids also go stop superdioxide which also has the effect of stopping plaque formation, arterial sclerosis. So again, another important thing. So how much should you take? Well, you should take about 100 milligrams per kilogram according to the research by Turol, which is the beta nin and from beetroot extracts for coronary heart disease. About 100 milligrams per kilogram of body weight that supports for glucose control and about 250 milliliters beetroot juice per day for hypertension. So in summary, beetroot has several benefits to cardiovascular benefit. Number two, it is nitrate from beetroot release releases a vasodilator nitric oxide. It promotes upregulation of antioxidant enzymes that mitigate diabetes and beetroot compounds also prevent arterial sclerosis. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. Please review the video and I wish everyone well. Thank you.